Welcome to the machine. Hello everyone, Shaolin Rogue here, and today we have another forum member video request from fellow gamer dad Dread77, who was recently informed by his six-year-old Gold League son that he should acquire a triple Tolumbus Fujin, and I've been asked to put that theory to the test. I also play War Robots with my daughter occasionally, and it just so happens she has a level 7 Fujin and a few level 6 Tulus to arm it with, and to keep things relevant, we will be competing in the Silver League. I myself haven't spent much time in a Fujin, and I'd like to point out that this video is by no means a tutorial on the proper way to Fujin, but rather my first full test drive of this curious little critter. To formulate my strategy, I'll be using my experiences with Fujins I've killed and been killed by, along with some excellent advice that was given from fellow forum member Tricky48, and I'll definitely be employing some of those tactics today. My first impression is that operating a Fujin is a completely different experience than it seems from the outside. While respecting its dangerous firepower, the Fujin has always seemed slow and awkward when I've seen them on the battlefield, and while an Ansel shield is great, I'm a fairly aggressive player and have difficulty standing guard, which seems to be the Fujin's purpose. It didn't take long for me to work out the unique walking mechanics spiders have, and noticed many subtle benefits to the Fujin's unique body design. The turret rotation and direction change mechanics are great, and combining the two makes the Fujin surprisingly mobile despite its mediocre speed. The low profile of the Fujin combined with its ground-hugging spider-style mechanics make it easy to find cover and, at times, allows for some pretty handy firing angles. The placement of the weapons on the Fujin is great, whether you want to suppress the enemy by chain firing them or corner shooting while knife fighting, while still being clustered close together enough to squeeze all three clips through small openings. Oddly enough, the feature I used the least on the Fujin was the inbuilt Ansel Shield, activating sentry mode much more often to gain height for a clear shot rather than protection. In my opinion, the high reload time of a Tolumbus will make it difficult for me to contribute to my team effectively if I stand guard in one location, and the widespread use of plasma and thunders means my Ansel Shield will not protect me long and should be saved for emergencies, when cooperating with teammates, or to quickly block a salvo before moving on. If you are using your shield and making a stand, keep an eye on its health bar beneath your own. Don't wait for it to be fully depleted before exiting sentry mode. Instead, get a head start on the rockets and projectiles that are likely waiting to head your way when it drops. While the Fujin may be a little slow for knife fighting, it's plenty maneuverable enough to be used with a Tolumbus at mid-range, taking advantage of the reduced exposure provided by the burst fire and splash damage of the Tulu. My ideal location on a map with the Fujin is one that has a variety of cover for me to weave in and out of, with multiple long shooting lanes that will let me cover as much of the battlefield as possible. Even though the damage output at this level is not amazing, I did feel like I was being strategically impactful during most of the matches, keeping the Reds at bay and supporting my teammates. As usual, situational awareness and range management are key, so make sure your spidey sense is well tuned before you go for a ride in this little critter, and an area with multiple cover options to lead your enemy through taking advantage of your cornering and splash damage is critical in the event that you're overrun. The remainder of the video contains one match on each of the six maps, and no damage was done with any other robot to give you an idea of the Tulu Fujin's output potential. Dread, I want you to thank your son for me. I was surprisingly impressed with the Fujin and will likely pick one up instead of a third carnage. Once again, this is Shaolin Rogue. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.